Good morning. Just thought I'd uh, say hello. Uh, last night was very difficult. Boy, I am in just a season uh, that's been pretty tough. I, you know, you wake up and you start to realize you're under attack in a major way. Um, and last night I literally felt like darkness was closing in. And uh, I just started praying. It's interesting. I was praying for my son and falling in and out of sleep. And the prayer kept going. In other words, I was asleep, but I kind of woke up and was aware that there was this detailed prayer just kept going about this and that for him. And I remember the teaching I gave yesterday about how Christ is in us interceding. And uh, I think the Lord took over. It's really interesting. Um, I, and, I, you know, he probably does that all the time, but I wanted me to be aware that he's there, you know. Uh, it wasn't just my dream. It was, it, I mean, it could have been. Who knows? He, the, but it reminded me, the experience reminded me that the Lord is there interceding, which makes me think I should be praying more. <laughs> um, but even more, preach the gospel to yourself. This morning, you know, <clears throat> just always brought back to my favorite verses in Colossians. I've said them so many times, which is that he has transferred us out of the authority of darkness and into the kingdom of the son of his love in whom we have redemption, the forgiveness of sins, redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of sins. He purchased us with his blood, redeeming us out from under the authority of darkness. And like I said, last night I felt like darkness was closing in all over me. And a lot of times when you're under an attack, the last thing you think of is preaching the gospel to yourself. And that's really why we're so thankful that we have the high priest. Because whether I preach the gospel to myself or not, it is true. The enemy can make me conscious of his presence, but he can't bring me under his authority. Right? And... I have been delivered out of the authority of darkness. Even though I hardly slept, I have been delivered and brought into the kingdom of the Son of His love. The price has been paid by Jesus Christ. He's got a kingdom full of constituents have each been personally purchased by His blood and are there by love. And, uh, his authority is different than Satan's. Satan, when he rules, it looks like Nimrod. It looks like Caligula. It looks like some tyrannical Nero burning cities, blaming on different people groups, and then, you know, scaring everybody into submission. But the way Christ rules is first he redeems you with his blood. Then he gives you the forgiveness of sin in him and he begins to reveal himself to you and as he does he captures your heart and makes you someone that loves him because you see how good he is and it's not that you're manipulated to see how good he is he's really that good and he really loves you and he really paid the price and there's the psalm that says, my people will give themselves freely in the day of his power. And our submission to the Lord is entirely, willfully uh, a response of choice to his love based on revelation. On the one hand, it, you know, it's got our will and our affection and our personality involved. But on the other hand, he predestinated us. He, he, we couldn't deliver ourselves out from under the authority of darkness. We didn't even know we needed it. We didn't really know we needed it until we already knew who he was. And once you know who he is, you're saved. So, uh, I'm not talking about Calvinism, but there is a certain element where God does it all, you know. And yet we are individually responsible, personally accountable. 
and the genuine offer of salvation exists for every person and, and it's not irresistible grace people have an opportunity to harden themselves if they choose but you got to harden yourself pretty hard and it makes you a pretty awful person you go further into darkness uh but we are in the light and uh we have been redeemed and as i said that the darkness lifted you know the we have been redeemed from out from under the authority of darkness. Things are getting dark. It's just uh, like in my life, I, I was like all of a sudden my eyes were open to see that, you know, there's people taking advantage of me and my music uh, in my wedding business and my, and my finances got under attack and I've lost some friends through the, uh, that I made on the channel that I now miss and uh you know there's just like those kind of little things and my kid has been going through all kinds of stuff that's all situational while the world is collapsing you know the economy's collapsing the presidency's collapsing all that stuff you never know what's coming up next but that wasn't really that is situational. What really got me was there's darkness just creeping in. Uh, I felt it, you know. Um, but no matter how bad that gets, we are not under the authority of darkness. We've been transferred. And the one who loves us is stronger than all, and greater is he that is in me than he who's in the world. And sometimes you just have to preach the gospel yourself to get yourself conscious of it. And yet while you're under an attack, like I said, it's the last thing you're going to do. But you have a high priest in you interceding. He'll bring you through. He'll bring you in. He will bring us in every time. And if we go through a period like that where we're so conscious of our weakness, he tabernacles over us. Paul said, I glory in my weakness that the power of Christ may tabernacle over me. He learned that these situations that we're brought into work out for our good because they draw us to Christ so the enemy sometimes doesn't want to touch people because he knows that it'll turn them into Christ and then Christ's power will be there and they'll be even more fruitful so uh, if there's a season of darkness like that a season of, to the degree that there's attack there's a deliverance and uh, always God only allows these things to bring you into the next season of his working in your life. So I expect good things. I went from last night really down in the dumps feeling like everything was just terrible and then having feelings of darkness all over me and to this morning feeling like, okay, we could have a new start here. Let's see what the Lord's going to do. All right, talk to you later.